Lucina. Should I play Martha Lucina is probably one of the most common questions I've seen in my time in War Cena Court. This video is to showcase all the similarities and differences between the two characters so newer players can have a more informed opinion on which one to choose. Starting with hitboxes, which are the same for all moves between both characters. Shieldbreaker and Counter have different hitbox positions due to different animations between the two characters, however they're still the same hitbox. All movement stats between both characters are exactly the same. All frame data is the same as well. Shield safety is in all practicality the same. Well spaced moves will keep you safe, while poorly spaced moves won't. Martha Lucina's general game plan is also pretty similar. They're both characters that rely on good movement and spacing to win neutral, holding on to advantage with their quick, disjointed attacks. They rely on the player's understanding of the game and overall fundamentals to do well, rather than any specific gimmick. They do also share combos for the most part, however, Marth's windows for the combos are larger due to Sours having less knockback. Martha and Lucina's most well-known but misunderstood difference is the fact that Marth has tippers and sour spots, while Lucina just has a singular, consistent blade. It's worth knowing that between all three different swing types, they all eventually set up the same situations. It's mainly just under different percent windows. And even though they do do different things at the same percent, that doesn't necessarily mean one's worse than the other. At one time with Tipper F tilt, Marth can get an edge guard situation where Lucina would only get a ledge trap situation, but both situations are very good for each character. Between all three swings, damage is different, however, it's usually only within a couple percent. The knockback difference is going to be what actually matters most of the time between the three swings. For the most part, the knockback is going to be pretty evenly distributed, however, Bear is a very worth noting exception, where Lucina's swing is very close to the Tipper's knockback, only killing around 12% later than the Tipper. The real difference between these two characters comes in an advantage. Marth has more potential options he can go for, but usually only has a few ways to achieve those options. Because Marth doesn't always need to kill with an edge guard or a ledge because of Tipper's immense knockback, and because he has a wider range to combo his attacks with the help of Sours, he can afford to use a lot more options in order to get the kill. This comes at the cost of only having a few ways he's able to viably reach those options, and you have to choose which ones to go for, meaning if you fail to adapt to your opponent and how they want to play around the options you tend to pick, Marth's going to suffer when it comes to his advantage state. Lucina, however, has few options she's usually going to go for, but has many ways to achieve those options. Because she doesn't have any really early kill moves other than from a shield break, Lucina is usually just always wanting to push her opponent to ledge, or juggle them to rack up damage before sending them to ledge. Once they're at the ledge, Lucina wants to do her best to edge guard and ledge trap to keep her opponent in hard disadvantage, which for a character with this good of frame data and range is quite easy to keep them where you want them. Lucina doesn't have to worry about always choosing a specific option, as most of her tools allow her to achieve the overall simpler goals she's aiming for. Although, she doesn't really have ways to just kill you from anywhere on the stage to compensate, and because she doesn't really have wide combo windows, she really relies on your ability to keep advantage so you can rack up damage and net reasonably early kills. So now that question can be asked again, should you play Marth Lucina? Now while this video should give you enough of an idea to show which one you probably prefer, I also want to give my personal recommendation. I recommend Marth for the players who want the increased amount of options at his disposal and have the mind to know when to properly use each of his options. Compared to previous Smash games, Marth has a lot of different options than what he'd normally use, so if you're uncomfortable for the first few weeks, don't worry, it just takes some time. And on the other hand, I recommend Lucina to those who prefer their character to give them the tools to strive. Her game plan, combo strings, inputs, and movement are all quite easy compared to others in the cast, so she can truly excel with a player that can use her tools to power up their gameplay. In simple terms, Marth is for players who want their play to revolve around their character, while Lucina is for players who want their character to revolve around how they play. <laughs>